This is Master Geo here with a first ever, for this site, unboxing. So let's get to it. So today I went to uh, Forbidden Planet, my personal favorite comic shop, and I picked up some shit. I finally got around to picking up one of the Garbage Pail Kids mystery vinyl figures. I've been dying to pick these up ever since I first saw them at Toy Fair, which I reported on my site. So, let's open it up and see what we got. Now, first off, I think we should definitely take a look at the uh, box. It's pretty cool. You got Atom Bomb here. Um, you got some uh, logos and stuff on the side. It's made by Funko, who do the pop toys, FYI. Um, there's a little bit of uh, info slash history about the Garbage Pail Kids on the other side. Uh, trademarks and stuff. And, um, but hey. And in the back, you can see the whole series, the current series of um, Garbage Pail Kids that are available. Okay, so let's get to freaking opening it up already. All right, we're uh, taking off the plastic. Do the plastic. Okay, so now we're opening it up. Comes in a black bag. Before you saw, my dog was getting a little bit overexcited, so... Yes, she's a Garbage Pail Kid fan, too. All right, she's uh, still very excited. She wants to see what's in the fucking bag. All right, and let's see what we got. Holy shit! It's one of my favorite Garbage Pail Kids on a first fucking try. It's fucking Hot Scott, all right? I always liked this guy as a kid. Um, I mean, come on. As a metalhead... He's fucking uh, little little devil. That's fucking awesome. All right. First and foremost, I love the um, detail on his face. He looks suitably evil yet kind of cute. Uh, I love the horns. The horns are really cool. Love his goatee, his, uh, his mohawk-y-like hair. His diaper. There's some nice detail on the diaper. Uh, there, the tail is just drawn in, so if you were expecting it to, like, be, um, you know, there piece of plastic, it's not. Um, it comes with an accessory, a pitchfork, of course, because where would Hot Scott or any devil be without his pitchfork? And she can put it in his hand, and so when he holds it nicely. Um, hands are articulated, head is articulated. Uh, that's There's no articulation anywhere else, so uh, three points of articulation. Um, you can see little tuppets of hair uh, on, on his leg, and um, his little cloven feet. Uh, I, I should mention that um, there isn't an actual crease, there's just a line on his uh, feet. Um, so yeah, he's really fucking awesome. I'm, I'm glad I got him. Um, I was very surprised. I was like, hoping I'd get one of my favorites. And, and I did. Um, will I get more of these? I don't know. Uh, I'm not crazy about blind boxes, because, well, if you get double, it kind of sucks, but they look so cool. I just have to get more. So you want to see what else I picked up at uh, Forbidden Planet today? All right, let's go into the bag and see what shit I pull out. Uh, yeah, so I picked up this, which is um, from Rumorg. It's their uh, now fourth book that they put out, um, soft cover. Um, this is all about Canadian horror films, so it's pretty cool. It's got uh, stuff like Ginger Snaps. The Gate, um, interviews with, with uh, different people uh, involved in the movies, including uh, filmmakers and um, like David Cronenberg, uh, Ivan Reitman. Yes, Ivan Reitman. Um, that Ivan Reitman. He produced some horror films up in um, Canada. Uh, the Saska twins, whom, if you follow me religiously, you know that I cover quite a bit on my site. And, and, and there's just, like, some really cool pictures. Um, there's a lot of movies. A couple of favorites of mine. Some, many that I haven't even seen. Um, I'm going to have to, I guess. Um, it's, my, it's, it's a cool little book. Uh, cost 15 bucks. So, uh, let's see what else we pull out of the bag. Hmm. Well, it's a comic shop, so, you know, I picked up some comic books. Picked up uh, Godzilla Goes to Hell 2. I loved the first issue. It had great artwork. And, I mean, as a um, horror-loving, monster-loving 
Metalhead, how can you not love fucking Godzilla Goes to Hell? Um, this one seems it's got, like, Angiris and Rodan in it. Pretty fucking awesome. Um, and I picked up the latest issue of He-Man and the Eternity War. This is issue number nine. I've been really enjoying reading this. Um, long story short, Hordak rules Eternia. Hordak's my favorite character in the in Masters of the Universe universe. So, hey, um, it's also the only DC title I am reading. Period. I really hate the new 52. Just saying. All right. Well, that's uh, this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And um, until next time, see you and uh, take care of all of you. Bye.